distance between lines. So lines could be parallel lines or lines could be in different planes, right? So, so those are the lines in which we are trying to find distance. So if the lines are parallel, then the formula for distance is b cross a2 minus a1, where b is the, the vector direction for the line, right, which is going to be the same for parallel lines. And a2 minus a1 is the other direction which we get from the two given points, right? So when we do cross product of this, so we get the shortest normal distance and we divide by the magnitude of the direction vector to get a unit vector in this direction, okay? The first part of, over here is to show that the lines are parallel. So we got these two lines. Here we have minus 2, 1, 3 and here we have minus 3, 3 over 2 and 9 over 2. So we can see 1 is related to this as 3 over 2. So if I multiply all with 3 over 2, so let me check if we get the same thing or not, correct? So that's the first part. So let's do it. So let's see what is 3 over 2 times this. So we have 3 over 2 times minus 2, 1 and 3. So 3 over 2 times this gives us minus 3. And that is 3 over 2. And this is 9 over 2, correct? So clearly it is a scalar multiple, right? So it's 3 over 2 times this. This is a scalar multiple. That means that the lines are parallel, correct? So now the second part is to find the distance. So the distance is the absolute value. The distance is always positive, correct? And we can use this here and we say, well, it is minus 2, 1, 3, correct? cross product with the vector this minus this. So if I do this 2 minus 4 we get minus 2. 0 minus of minus 2 is plus 2 and 7 minus 1 is 6. Correct. So that is a2 minus a1. Correct. Divided by the magnitude of this. So magnitude of this is minus 2 square is 4 plus 1 square is 1 and 3 square is 9. Right. So that is the distance between the two parallel lines, right? Now, we can do this A cross B and then see what the answer is, right? So let me do it separately, minus 2. So let's do it here. So we get I, J, K. Over... Uh, minus 2, 1, 3, and uh, minus 2, 2, 6, right? So, which is equal to i times 6 minus 6, 6 minus 6 is 0, and minus j times, these are unit vectors, right? So, let me write unit vectors here. And j times minus 2 times 6 is minus 12. Minus 2 times 3 is 6. And minus becomes plus 6. And plus k times minus 2 times 2 is 4. And minus 2 times 1 is 2. So we get this, right? So that gives us, that is 0 minus j is uh, minus 6 and k is 6 plus 6k, right? So that is the vector of this and the magnitude of this is so what is the magnitude of this? Magnitude is a square plus b square square root, right? And for k, we get minus 2 times 2 is, oh, minus 4, sorry. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 and minus of this. So minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So this is minus 2k, right? So here we have 6j minus 2k. That's what we have. And what is the magnitude of this? 
the magnitude of this is actually I should write here magnitude of this well that magnitude means the magnitude of this that's fine so we'll find magnitude of the numerator we can write here and then find the magnitude of numerator right so anyway so magnitude of this is 6 square so let me write it here 6j minus 2k will write magnitude of this right over this is 4 plus 1 5 so that is square root of 14 Four, correct and this is 36 square plus 4 square so this is 6 square is 36 plus 2 square is 4 which is 40 and this is magnitude is 14 right and therefore we get this distance is equal to we can write here equal to square root of 40 over 14 and we can use the calculator and find our answer square root of 40 over 14 square root of 40 over 14 gives us 1.69 so that's the distance between these two parallel lines okay I hope you understand it okay thank you